basically you come out of the woods and there's a white blaze on a telephone pole and a cute cat to greet you hi hi and another blaze so I'm guessing we go this way And the map said you go down Water Street, so that's where I'm headed. And that telephone pole tells me there's a change coming. So I guess I make a left at the pole. That would be my guess. It's still Saturday. I made it in one day from McQueen Gap. And I was not in a rush. I didn't rush the whole thing. I enjoyed it. Road closed the footage. Apparently there's a problem over there. Alright, I'm gonna make a left here. Cross the street and make a left. And I'll catch up with you later. Bye-bye. And you are here, I'm guessing. And they want you to go up to the next corner. And make a right and then run down the other way I'm guessing and there's Rambo Street okay well nope, I'd like to go sit in a restaurant for a little while so I'm gonna go for find one if I can He did this in 1990. He's an Eagle Scout. The Scouts have done a lot of work on different shuttle, uh, shelters and trail things. Very nice. Thank you, Boy Scouts. Now, there's a shelter. You're not supposed to sleep in it. Matter of fact, big sign says no camping. <laughs> but you can sit there and take a rest. Official Park, 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. I'll keep on walking. I was going to go in there and sit down for a little while, but I want to get to town before everything closes. Hey, ready? Now I'll turn you off for a little while. I haven't checked yet. I'm going to check now while I hold this. This should be Sunday the 20th of June, but I'm going to double check. It is. Well, mine's not gone yet. This is also a bridge over the river. I don't know. It, it, it joins and the Appalachian Trail and the Creeper Trail are commingled over this bridge and for in and out for a good distance all the way back to uh, Damascus. I got dropped off at Greasy the Greasy something intersection. It's 15 miles north of the town of Damascus and I'm going to walk back to the uh, hostel and then I can take a shower tonight and eat a regular meal again and get dropped off back to Greasy in the morning and go north from there. So, yes, when I can, you could tell you, say I'm taking the whippy way out, but I go with a lot less in my pack 
don't really need the tent and the food. Just take enough food for the afternoon. And I didn't even really need to do that today because on the way up here, the driver was telling me, oh, there's a, whatchamacallit, oh, on the trail side, there's a luncheonette or a hot dog stand or something. So I was like, oh, okay. Not that it makes that much difference. You're only talking, you know, maybe a half a pound of snacks for the afternoon, so not a big deal. But, uh, so today should be good. The only thing is, I, with my slowness, I don't know what time I'll be getting back in. I just told him to do the Bob Bodette, which is leave the light on. <laughs> I, I realized I'm dated and a lot of people don't know what that means anymore. He used to do the commercials for Motel 6 or Motel 8 or something and say, we'll leave the light on for you. Anyhow, well, here's a plaque to read and a bench. And the bench has a plaque which we won't be able to read. Even though it's inscripted, I can make out Virginia and that's it. It's engraved. But here we go. Luther, Luther C. Hassinger, president of the lumber company, built and operated sawmill. Huh. Wow, he wasn't that old. He was like 22 when he died. Holy shit. Yeah, days of old. Medical technology is not what it is today, man. You got a cut finger. You get infected, it could kill you. Imagine that. And that used to happen frequently. I heard from my wife last night, one of my neighbors had a very close call. It still hurt, I'm sure, with a chainsaw recently, like in the last couple of days. And he didn't even know he was cutting himself until he saw his jeans start flaking off and then realized he was amputating his leg. Fortunately, he didn't get that far from what I understand, although I haven't seen it for myself. But, because from what you said, he's hobbling around on crutches, so. I wish him the best. gotta really suck. Anyhow, this is nice today. Since it's a bike trail, I'm assuming there aren't too many radical, um, whatchamacallit. The creeper trail is pretty much a bike trail. Too many radical inclines or declines. And I was told that if you do the trail, which I am tempted to take a day tomorrow and rent a bike and do it, Especially if I can find somebody else to do it with me. And just do this for s*** and giggles. Some people do it and count it as part of the trail. And I was tempted to do that, but I didn't know how to go about it right away. So. And uh, they get it, they get dropped off much higher up. And they ride all the way back to town. And they say it's nice because you only have to pedal. Every now and then it's mostly downhill. And they say on bike it's two hours. That's where on my legs I'm figuring it's going to be at least 10 if not 12. So. Oh. Orange. Oh, there's a nice little dock out there over the river. From what I understand it follows the river all day. And seeing how the river's going that way, I'm inclined to believe it goes this way most of the day. Although, going the other way, according to the map, it's an incline of over 5,000 feet, which is basically a mile vertical. And going this way, it's 4,000 feet. Although, I don't know where they get the ups from here. So, should be interesting. I'm going to enjoy the walk.
Bye bye. Even though I'm very much in a rush, I couldn't help but notice that that looks awful like some, awfully like something from an Indiana Jones movie. And I'm going to approach with care so I don't trigger the mechanism that swings it at me. Wow. All right. Enough for that. I'm going to go quickly and try and check the date and all that good stuff. I'm trying to get into town before the dollar store closes. And I've got a ways to go. I don't know that I'm going to make it. It is the 20th, which means it's probably Sunday. The 20th of June. Okay. I'm going to continue walking and try to get there. See you later. Oh, turn the wrong thing off. Turn the phone off and not the camera. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.